The first step to making a good granola is to grow out all of your body hair. You suck at cooking, yeah you totally suck. We're going to begin by purifying the area with a lavender citrus spray. Then take three cups of oats and put those in any hand carved bowl of your choice. Take two cups of nuts, then go and find a power stone. Feel around for a stone that actively wants to participate in the granola making process. You know it's a power stone by feeling its power. Take off your bandana, make sure it's blue to infuse the nuts with calm. Fold the nuts into the bandana. And we're gonna bring our power stone down firmly, but with happy thoughts. We never crush our nuts with anger, we only crush our nuts with love. Say thank you to the power stone. And we'll do a quick passive Reiki over the nuts to heal any damaged cells. We'll mix in half a cup of free range coconut flakes, half a cup of maple syrup, and half a cup of coconut oil. And we're adhering to the 100 mile diet here. I got this maple syrup from a farm 10 miles away from here and the coconut oil from a grocery store only half a mile away from here. About a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We'll take a couple pinches of sea salt. Don't use ground salt because ground salt has negative vibrations in it. And you can go ahead and wang jangle that together with any hand carved implement. And we're remembering to speak in soft tones around our granola. We'll take another bowl and infuse the granola with sound vibrations until it's at nutritional capacity. If you feel any emotional ups and downs during this process, that's Venus and Cancer. You're gonna feel sensitive, you're gonna feel impressionable. I like to take a bit of eucalyptus and waft it everywhere but onto the granola. Onions on 350 and we're just gonna smudge the onion to prevent the granola from becoming haunted. And then we'll gently slide that inside. Good journey. Bongo sound waves are great to give your granola a bit more depth. We're gonna take this out and set it down. I was way too rough with that. And I'm forgiving myself and I'm loving myself. We're cooking this until we get a nice golden color, but you don't wanna be thinking of actual gold pieces and money. Good journey. This is a good time to meditate, to raise the vibration of not only the granola, but all of humanity. As you let this cool, it's gonna crisp up over the next few minutes, which is just the power of energy in action. And because we cook this on foil, we're just gonna neutralize the effects of the foil with a Lumerian crystal. If you know a local shaman, this would be the time for her or him to chant over the granola, just in case you rush that smudge and some spirits got in. We're gonna take some blueberries and using ancient pyramid technology, we'll dry them out and infuse them with eternal knowledge. Mix in those blueberries, give them a stir. A mason jar full of granola is legal currency in some places and should get you a half hour reflexology session or an equal size jar of quinoa. You just want to lay your hands on the granola for a couple minutes to infuse it with positive energy. Make sure you have the lid off when you do this because positive vibes don't pass through glass. I'm just labeling these with the names of some friends that I owe some granola to. probably tastes better than everyone else is because I'm a better meditator but everybody is learning and that's okay also the eucalyptus is poison